We're going to start right away with the lawsuit that you have filed. I know we've got another subject to get to, to get into that you just astounded me when you were uh, speaking at the YWCA luncheon a couple of months ago. But you have filed a lawsuit on behalf of uh, meteorologist Rhonda Lee, who used to be an employee at KTBS. Tell us about the lawsuit. Well, uh, Ms. Lee employment was terminated uh, at KTBS allegedly for violating a Facebook social media policy. Um, we believe we can establish that uh, race discrimination was in fact the motivating factor um, with respect to the termination of her employment because there was no written social media policy and her conduct with respect to the, the Facebook postings did not differ in any way from postings from, from other similarly situated employees. So we filed the lawsuit in order to pursue her claims for a wrongful termination and, and race discrimination. Race discrimination. How hard is that to prove? What do you have to show and what are your allegations on that front? Well, she has to prove that her race, African American, was the motivating factor for the termination of her employment. She proves that by showing that the reason offered for the termination of her employment was a pretextual reason in that similarly situated employees had not been terminated for conduct that was equivalent. And um, and that's really the burden of proof. Is it difficult to prove? Of course it's difficult to prove because not everyone has experienced race discrimination. So there are a lot of uh, juries, there are a lot of jurors, excuse me, that are willing to excuse the conduct. But uh, we believe that we have a strong case here and we believe that we can prove it. Let me, we had Rhonda in with us. So when we were on the other radio station, Robert and I, lovely, lovely lady, very talented. The There were some issues regarding, it all started with her hair, correct? It started with a Facebook posting uh, about her hair. And it was a Facebook posting that arguably could be viewed as racist. She took that Facebook posting and reported it to her manager um, and, and, and made a complaint of race discrimination there. And that's where everything began. Okay. And um, it goes from there. Uh, but we believe, and, and, and in fact, I think we have the evidence to prove that with respect to the Facebook policy, to the extent they had one, and they really didn't have a written policy, and we're not even sure they even had a policy, that all employees there engaged in the same type of conduct with respect to that policy and therefore the stated reason for her termination of employment was pretextual. What does she want? Allison Jones, local attorney representing Rhonda Lee in the lawsuit against KTBS. What does she seek from her suit? Well, her lawsuit is going to seek back pay uh, claims. It's going to seek uh, perhaps front pay claims. It's going to seek damages for emotional distress. But I think if you asked Rhonda Lee what she wanted, she would tell you that she wanted a work environment that was fair. Uh, to everyone that 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 didn't have uh, didn't permeate with race discrimination. She doesn't want to go back to work for KTBS. Well, that hasn't even been offered by KTBS, so we can't answer that question. <laughs> Does she want back on television as a meteorologist? I mean, she's a talented meteorologist. We all admit that, I would guess. I think that Miss Lee loved her job, and I think that she would love to be back on television as a meteorologist or as an anchor or as any position. Um, whether that's at KTBS or any other place of employment. The problem with this particular situation is because a false reason was put out for the termination of her employment, that affected her ability to get uh, other employment in other areas. What happens with her case now, timetable for this lawsuit? Well, the state court lawsuit was filed, and um, that will, that will, it remains pending. She also has a federal EESC claim that's being investigated by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, she still hasn't received her notice of right to sue on that federal claim. Once she does, we'll make the determination of what, how to pursue from that point. And do we know who is representing KTBS? Uh, KTBS, I believe, is represented by Price Barker. Okay. And they haven't filed a, an answer to your lawsuit yet, or have they? I, I don't think they have. It's certainly They're certainly within their time period to file one. Um, I, I assume that at some point they will file one, yes. 